Hey guys, how's it going? So, you've just started Morrowind, but you don't have the faintest idea where to go, what to do, or you want to know how to get a good start in the game. Well, look no further because I've got five tips that will help you in Morrowind. These tips will consist of a good place to vendor your gear or your loot, place to get a good weapon, and of course to use some good spells that will be very helpful during your time playing the game. Now of course, some of these tips that I may be giving to you, you may already know, but hopefully one out of my five tips may become useful to you, or maybe some of them. But before we get into the video, this video has been sponsored by the legendary game Hero Wars. Hero Wars is an online role-playing action game with a mixture of PvE and PvP modes. I've been playing for the campaign and I've been having a blast at pitting myself against powerful bosses and experiencing a compelling fantasy story. While completing missions, I can collect loot, potions and upgrade materials to completely upgrade my champion to with the best of its ability. This game has over 50 unique heroes, each with their own unique ability. Assemble your heroes and traverse the endless tower, or use the might of your heroes to compete their strength against other players in the arena mode. The game has over 10 million active players. The game has the most active yet most friendliest communities out there. With over 400 million people at your disposal, they will be able to provide you with useful tips such as how to defeat the bosses, how to defeat your opponent in the arena, or even setting up a guild. Join the game now and you'll get a super chest with a secret hero, as well as 62 emeralds and 30,000 gold. Hero Wars is available on all mobile phone devices, and what's great about the game is that you can use your web browser to play the game too. Scan the QR code or download the game in a link in the description. Join my clan champions and I'll see you in game! Okay, so the very first tip I can provide is getting the most money out of Sidonin, or the starting area of Morrowind. You can get up to 2000 gold in this very starting area alone. So, first and foremost, you know what to do. You need to steal the Limewire Platter. As soon as you get your papers, immediately pick up the landmine platter, open up your inventory and drop it on the floor. Once the guard tells you no no, simply pick it back up and proceed on to the next area. Now once you're in this next area, just pick up and steal pretty much everything besides the furniture. There's even back rooms with items as well, make sure to steal those too. Once you've taken all those items, proceed to exit out of the building. Now once you're outside, speak to Fargoth and bring up the conversation about the ring. Once he asks about it, return it to him. Trust me. Next, you want to go to the trade house. Next, proceed to offload all this loot that you've just stolen. The my platter, the plates, pots, the items, everything. Another thing to note is to make sure you keep your sujama or any other alcohol on you, else that'll be useful later on in the video. Make sure when you're selling all your items that you don't sell the package for Kaius Cassades. Make sure you don't do that. That could cause problems. When you're selling all your items to the trade house, make sure you buy a weapon that you're fishing with. So if you pick longsword, buy a longsword. If you're fishing with an axe, buy an axe. Once you've done that, proceed to go upstairs and speak to the Nord right at the top of the stairs. This slimy gentleman wants us to steal from Fargoth, and we agree to it. Once you've spoken to him, exit out of the building. Then immediately jump down and go across to the river and if you go towards the rocks you will see a dead body on the floor. Proceed to loot the body. Um, well I didn't take his clothes but you can if you want to. Next we want to head back right to the beginning of the game and speak to the guy that gave us the paperwork. There is a little shortcut you can take by just jumping over the rocks instead of going all the way back into the building. We then proceed to tell him about the taxman that's met his unfortunate demise. But when he asks about the money, we tell him, nah, we didn't, we didn't find anything. Once you exit the building, there is a little cheeky shortcut you can take, as shown in the video here. If you just keep jumping towards this wall, you can get out immediately. Now, immediately, you need to go to Thorn Shack. Once there, talk to him about the murder of the taxman, and then he'll proceed to pour his heart out and tell you that he did it because he's a blah, 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 blah. Tell him, sorry, that's no excuse, and then proceed to kill him. Door is pretty easy. Once you've dealt with him, make sure you grab the book and any other items he's got. 
Now once you've done that, go straight back to the beginning of the game and speak to the and speak to the Ah yes guy. He will reward you 500 gold for solving the murder. Next you want to go behind the lighthouse, jump over the rocks and grab the axe in the log. Now once you've done that, proceed to go inside the lighthouse and speak to the widow. Now this is the tax woman's wife, I mean you have a moral choice, you can give her back the ring or you can sell it, choice is yours. Next proceed to rob everything and go outside the door at the top of the lighthouse. Once there, what you need to do is wait until midnight. Once you'll do that, you'll immediately see Fargoth looking quite shifty. You'll see him holding a torch and sneaking around, but what you want to do is wait until he goes towards the log in the middle of Cedanine. Once he walks back into the middle of town, proceed to jump down and rob the contents inside the log. Once that's done, make your final trip to the trade house and sell any items that you've got. Lastly, head up the hill and speak to the lady and take a silk strata to Balmora. Once at Balmora, head to Kaiskisedi's house. If you're unsure how to get there, just follow the video as an example to get straight to his house. Now once you're there, speak to him and give him the package back and ask about duties. Once you ask him about duties, he will give you 200 goals and tell you to go explore. This is a great stopping point as basically he's telling you to go explore before you take any main duties or tackle the main story. But if you check your inventory, you should have around about 2000 gold now. Or more, depending if you have points in Mercantile. Now, don't go spending your newfound fortune just yet, because this will be helpful for the second turn. Now, what you're going to use the money for is to get the Mark and Recall ability. Now, unlike the Elder Scrolls sequels, unfortunately Morrowind doesn't have a fast travel. If you want to get around Morrowind, you have to use the Boat, Silkstrada, or Mages. But there is another one, and that's the Mark and Recall ability. What it allows you to do is you can mark any point on the map. And if you use the spell recall, you can return to the exact point that you marked on the map. To get the mark ability, you need to go to the Balmora Temple, which is just right at the back of Balmora. Head into the temple, go right down the stairs and speak to the lady on screen. She will sell a mark spell. Now, we need to get the recall spell, so what you need to do is you need to head to Balmora's Mages Guild. Speak to the lady right at the bottom of the Balmora's Mages Guild and she'll give you the option to teleport. Now what you need to do is you need to teleport to Caldera, as shown on screen. Next you just need to speak to the High Elf who's hanging around at the top of the stairs. Once you speak to him, ask about spells and he will sell the recall ability. Now if you're a mage build and you've selected Mysticism as one of your mage skills, you should be good enough to use this ability. But if you don't, what you'll need to do is you need to go back to Balmora's Mages Guild and then speak to the Orc, which is at the bottom floor of the Balmora's Mages Guild. She will offer training in mysticism. But in order to level up that skill, we just need money. So in order to get more money, we need to head to a very popular merchant. Now, if you're still in Caldera, exit the Mages Guild and go to Garak's Manor which is shown on screen if you're unsure where to go. Now head upstairs and you'll see the infamous Creeper Merchant. Now this merchant's really handy as this creature will buy any item at full price regardless. Now what I advise to do is use the Mark ability at this merchant because no matter where you are in the world, if you're over encumbered or if you're really struggling and you need to get out, using the recall ability it will bring you back to this safe spot. Tip number four is to get a very good longsword weapon. Now, if you're not spec for longsword, you can still sell this weapon for a very good price and there's also good loot. But if you are a longsword user, I'm going to be showing you a very good weapon to have and you'll probably use this weapon very late into the game as well. So, what you need to do is you need to get a, take a silt strata and head to Sidney. Now we're going to be heading to a place called Dren's Plantation. In order to get there, you can follow the road to Palgeade. Once you're at Palgeade, you just need to go behind the castle and follow the pathway to Dren's Plantation. Now once you're at the plantation, you just want to turn left and go towards the shack with the stairs. Once you're inside the shack, you'll come across this gentleman here. Now what I'd advise doing is saving the game before you even do anything. Now once you've saved the game, consume all the alcohol that we've been collecting on the way. Ready your weapon and start swinging at the guy. 
Now, I will admit, I died a couple of times and he does hit very hard. Luckily for me, being a red guard, I can pop a adrenaline rush and it gives me that combat edge against him. If you are struggling, you can always turn down the difficulty, but if you're a crazy guy like me, just keep swinging at him and he'll eventually will die. Now, once you eventually do deal with him, make sure to save and make sure to loot the entire area. As there's gold inside the bags, there's also a really good ring inside the chest. Now, once you've looted it all, you can also take advantage of the mark and recall ability. But if you haven't used that yet, then no problem. Just run back to Tessadineen, take the Silstrider back to Balmora, go to the Mage's Guild, go to Caldera and speak to the Creeper to sell the items. Now, once you've done that, you should have a decent amount of money as well. So if you did want to train your mark and recall ability, or if you wanted to train your other abilities, you can do so. Now, the very last tip I can advise is using the taunt function. Now, if you have a high speechcraft skill, like if you're an Imperial, this step is really useful for you. But if you're like me and hasn't trained into speechcraft, this can be a little bit tough. So if you go to a guard and keep clicking the taunt function, eventually they'll become hostile. So if you wanted to fight somebody and not face any repercussions from the guards, just simply taunt them to death and eventually they will hit you first. So for example, as me being a medium armor build, I tend to go to Monhold and taunt one of the royal guards to death and until eventually he'll attack me. You could do it to Balmora guards, do it to vendors, you could do it essentially to anybody. So when you eventually become efficient enough to taunt very easily, you could always taunt guards to death, kill them, sell our armor to vendors, and that's an also a lucrative way to get money. If you also do need help with your speechcraft skill, you can get a cool amulet from doing the play when you eventually arrive to Mournhold. If you get most of the answers right, you will get an amulet as one of your rewards. Kais also trains you up in speechcraft, so if you have the money, go to him to train up your speechcraft skill too. So my fellow Inwaz, that is my 5 tips I can offer you to help you win Morrowind. If any of this was useful, please let me know in the comments, as I do read them and I do reply to you guys. Also, this is how many of you guys are subscribed to me. Yeah, that's that's pretty low, can you, can you kinda help me out with that? Yeah, cool.